Hey everybody, I thought I'd do a uh, quick tutorial on how to get these um, steel sleeves out of suspension bushings. This is on an 86 Fiero. It probably works for just about everything. Um, if you're doing polyurethane suspension bushings, one of the biggest problems you're going to have is getting these old rubber bushings out. Um, one method that uh, I've heard described is called burning them out. Um, taken literally, I actually set the first one on fire and just tried to literally melt it out. That is absolutely wrong and if that's what you're doing, please stop because all it does is smell a lot and uh, make a small fire and it doesn't do any good at all. The correct way to do it and the tools you're going to need is this torch. I've already got it lit. Uh, 20 bucks from Home Depot. And I use a big punch, but uh, it doesn't really matter what you use. You just need something that you can push that sleeve out with. A screwdriver, anything like that is fine. Um, anyway, so the first thing you're going to do is turn your torch up. And you're not actually burning the rubber. All you're going to do is set it in there and heat the sleeve. Um, I think I've heard this described once or twice that this is the right way to do it, but there's also a lot of bad information out there that you just burn them, and as I already said, that's the wrong way to do it. Now the theory behind this, uh, basically all you're doing is you're heating up the sleeve to the point that it melts the rubber around it. So you're basically melting the rubber from the inside out. And if done correctly, there should be no fire, uh, no burnt rubber, and really it doesn't even smell. Uh, I'm actually doing this in my garage. The um, the door is open, but uh, it shouldn't smell anyways. If you go a little bit too far, then clearly it smells. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed, but... Alright, so how do you know that it's done? Well, it uh, it'll usually start bubbling and sizzling. Um, and when it's really done, it starts to try to ignite. Whoop, looks like it's already done. So there we go, and push it out. That is it. That's all there is to it. That was even quicker than I thought it would be. Uh, and again, if done right, there should be minimal rubber melting. Um, it's a pretty clean hole, and that's pretty much it.